Utilizing Inveris' spacing analytic solution in PRISM, interpreting complex development patterns in the subsurface has never been easier. Whether you're looking at specific areas of interest with stack development, or you're trying to understand weld density across a basin, there is no shortage of spacing metrics that can be plotted on a map or chart to give the right context and normalization to your analysis. For example, here you can see the number of wells per section across all developed zones for the entirety of the Midland Basin, which will help us identify those areas of prolific stack development in the Lower Sprayberry, Wolf Camp A, Wolf Camp B, and many other zones. For a more detailed look at the unit, PRISM has a dynamic gun barrel viewer that shows the relative distances of all wells surrounding the subject well. This can be used to analyze multiple metrics from each well, like production, completion, or parent-child relationships. One of the key components of understanding spacing trends is understanding how acquisitions have affected acreage development through time. For example, here we can see wells that were originally developed by Parsley being spaced much tighter prior to the Pioneer acquisition. The challenge with doing most spacing evaluations is understanding the dynamic between zone-specific spacing and multi-bench spacing. Although we can see certain zones being spaced much tighter than others, there are still scenarios where operators will wind rack wells within a single zone or rack wells across multiple zones. Of course, one of the key variables to understanding these types of development patterns are completion metrics, like propin and fluid intensities, and their relationship with spacing tightness, which is very easily visualized in PRISM, like you can see here. When it comes to extremely detailed spacing analysis, the 4D spacing table provides an abundance of statistical measurements from the subject well to every offset well that falls within the predetermined search radius. This data can also be leveraged through backend data connections into your own internal database. So if there are custom views you'd like to generate based on this data, the process is fairly seamless. For production degradation analysis, binning type curves into spacing classifications that describe the boundedness and the parent-child relationships allow you to properly assign production assumptions for future development of undeveloped inventory, noting how children wells are significantly impacted compared to parent or co-completed wells. In fact, these type curves can be grouped and bin into any and all of the spacing metrics we've covered here in this video.